let's understand about unitary elastic demand in this case the elasticity of demand is equal to 1 which means that change in price brings about proportionate change in quantity demanded. Let's take an example. Suppose the price of the commodity was 10 and it increased to 20. Originally the quantity demanded at this price was 20 and at 10 it was 10. Right? So if you have to compute elasticity of demand it is Q2 minus Q1 upon Q1 divided by P2 minus P1 upon P1. So the quantity second was 10 minus 20 divided by 20 or 10 by 20 is equal to 1 by 2, right? And in price it was 20 minus 10 divided by 10. So let's say the price of the commodity was 10 and at this price the quantity demanded was 20. The price of the commodity increased from 10 to let's say 15. Okay. And the quantity demanded decreased from 20 to 10. Right. Now in this case if you were to compute the elasticity of demand that will be equal to change in quantity which is Q2 minus Q1 upon Q1 divided by P2 minus P1 divided by P1. So what's my Q2? 10. What's my Q1? 20. Again my Q1 is 20 is equal to 10 divided by 20. Similarly for the price, what's the second price? 10 minus 20 divided by P1 which is 20 or 10 divided by 20. I'm ignoring the negative signs out here. So I get 10 divided by 20 divided by 10 divided by 20. So these knocks off and elasticity of demand comes to 1. Right? So now if you kind of just plot this on the graph, let's say the quantity demanded is 10, 20 and the price is 5, 10, 15. So at a price of 10, the quantity demanded is 20, so you, okay. At a price of 15, the quantity demanded is 10, so So this is S1 situation 1, this is S2. If you join these two dots and extend them to the X and Y axis, this will be sloping downwards. 
and sloping upwards. These angles in case of a perfectly elastic demand are equal to 45 degree. Okay. So what does this show? This shows that as the price increased from 10 to 15, the quantity demanded decreased from let's say Q1, Q2, Q1 to Q2 which is 20 to 10. So the change was proportionate. Okay. 